Namaste. Welcome to Beauty and Colorful Tales. I am Yulandi, a Sadesco qualified skincare therapist, also known as a stomatologist. And on this platform of mine, I share anything skincare and beauty related. So if you've got any queries regarding that, please drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet to join us on a healthy skincare journey. Today, we are going to be waxing an underarm. Firstly, you need long hair, at least a centimeter long. Secondly, we will be needing powder. Now I'm using the Nysil powder. You can use any powder, baby powder, any powder that you've got that you can use. It literally just helps to lift the hair off the surface of the skin so that it doesn't stick on the skin, but also prevents the wax from sticking on the skin itself and ripping your skin. Secondly, we need a tweezer for if there's any hair that is left behind. And then of course, the most important thing we need is wax. Now I've got a wax warmer as well as wax. Both of these things I've got off of Amazon. The links are down below in the description. Just forget about how messy it is because that is usually what happens with the wax spot. So firstly, we are going to be applying our powder onto the underarms or any area that you will be waxing to ensure, like I've mentioned before, that the hair gets lifted off the surface of the skin so that the wax doesn't get stuck on the skin. It just also makes it a lot easier for the waxing procedure to happen. You would nicely go and rub the powder into it, especially if you're living in a hot climate where it's humid, you sweat a lot, you just want to get all of that lifted and removed. You can see the nice long hair there. Okay, just ensuring because some of the hair is a little bit stubborn, they want to be stuck on the skin. I'm just quickly grabbing the wax and I am just cooling the wax, making sure that the wax is not too hot as the underarms is a little bit of a sensitive area. So it can feel a little bit warmer than what it usually is. You would usually test the wax on your inner wrist to ensure that it's not too hot. Just quickly cooling down a little bit as it's a little bit too warm. You would need to apply pressure on the one side, the opposite side of what you're going to be applying the wax. Now this is that beaded wax um, or Brazilian wax, whichever you prefer, I call it hot wax. You would apply it in the opposite direction of the hair growth and you would use firm pressure in applying it so that you want to lift the hair and get the hair stuck into the wax. Make sure you've got a nice thick border all the way around so that it's easy for removal. Also don't apply it too thinly because if it is applied too thin, the wax won't get off, it will just be stuck on the skin and you will battle to get it off. So what you would do is you would just usually check it, just feel on it, make sure that it's not pulling any strings that like I just did. And you would ensure that it is soft but hard at the same time as this wax doesn't really just go very brittle hard very quickly. Um, when it is soft and you can touch it and you can play a little bit with it, it gives a little bit of leeway, then you can start to remove it. So the wax is basically ready. One thing you need to remember is always to apply firm pressure when you are going to be removing the wax. So you need to apply firm pressure on the one side, just flick the wax and then you can just remove it from there on. Okay, it is usually quite painful. So I usually just go and put my hand on there just to subside the little bit of pain. But you can see the hair has come out nicely all with the little follicles and hair bubbles at the bottom. Okay. Usually I would go and reapply a bit of powder again because sometimes what happens is as you're working some of the powder rubs off and your client or you yourself, whoever you're waxing, will end up sweating a little bit because it is painful. So just apply wax, uh, sorry, the powder again just to ensure that there is no moisture on the skin and the hair is still lifted off the skin. Exactly the same application procedure that we've done just now as you would make sure the wax is not too hot and that you would apply in the opposite direction of the hair growth and remember to apply the pressure while doing so. Now, as you are waiting for the wax to dry, I generally just grab my tweezer and remove some of the hair that stayed behind that did not want to get waxed out. So just gently go and pull those out with the tweezer while you are waiting for your wax to dry and for it to be ready to be removed. Okay. 
And once again, same thing as you will be removing the wax, ensure that the wax is nice and soft but firm at the same time. Apply your pressure so that you can pull your skin, flick the wax and then just pull it off. Once again, a nice removal. You will see a little bit of blood specks, especially when you are waxing hair that is very thick. This is normal, hair follicles do have blood supply, so there will be blood specks coming in. And that is absolutely normal as long as you haven't dripped off skin. These little blood spots are literally just from the follicles, it is not from skin being ripped off. Um, and they usually go away within a couple of hours, but by the next day they are gone. Now there's just a little patch of hair that has grown in a very odd direction from the area that I've just waxed. So I just need to redo that area again. Once again, applying a little bit of powder and getting the wax ready to apply. And once again, in the same way that you would have done it before, which is with applying pressure on the skin and pressure while you are applying the wax. This was literally just a small little patch of hair. It is hair that was too much to tweeze, but it was enough to be waxed. So I just had to quickly remove those with the wax strip. So you can see there that all the hair is nicely out. There's still one or two little hairs there. Um, and I'm just gonna grab out of the tweezer. You do sometimes find that there is some hair that stays behind, but most of the time they do come out nicely, all of them with the wax itself. It all literally just depends on the thickness of the hair, the hair growth phase, as you've got different hair growth phases. It depends on whether it is still very much attached to the hair follicle or whether they are at the last phase of hair growth. Whether they will come out nicely um, depends on whether your, or your client or your friend, whoever you're waxing or yourself, whether you've shaved in between your waxing sessions, then generally the hair also is a little bit difficult to wax and it is a lot more painful and that is how you wax underarms it's really a simple and easy steps to follow but do remember that waxing yourself and waxing someone else is very different if you're not comfortable in doing it yourself please go and see a professional for having it done now i usually just apply powder afterwards especially because we are living in a very hot and humid climate at the moment so i don't want to have any excess of sweating where there's bacteria that will cause any infections on the underarms later on so this is just to help and prevent that from happening but after waxing you can usually apply some cooling ointments like aloe vera gel calamine lotion any soothing lotion that you've got preferably without any perfume so that it won't irritate the skin also please do remember that after you've waxed not to go and exercise no going to the gym and things like that as you will over sweat and will can cause an infection um, do not apply any deodorant roll-ons antiperspirants directly after waxing please wait at least 12 to 24 hours so that the pores or the follicles can close a little bit because you don't want to have any infection and things like that happening either. Thank you for watching. I hope these simple steps made it easy for you to understand on how to do some waxing to remove those underarm hairs. And don't forget to go and subscribe so that you can join us on a healthy and radiant skincare journey. I'll see you soon.